Hello and welcome to this new concierge render tutorial. I am Marco and today I will explore with you the smoke simulation in Blender and how to correctly prepare your scene to render with concierge. To understand how the smoke simulation works, let's recap the basics. A smoke simulation is made of a blend file and a simulation cache. The cache is the group of data containing all the information of the entire simulation. To generate the cache, we need to bake the simulation. This process creates the cache folder. To render the smoke simulation externally, we want to make sure the blend and the cache simulation are always together and also set all the paths to relative. Making all paths relative helps Blender to find all the external data even when they will be out of your local computer like a render farm. I will create a very basic simulation and look at all the steps. With the default cube selected, apply a quick smoke. If I play the animation, you can see that the smoke is already applied. Now it's time to bake the simulation. So I go in the Physics tab, Cache section, and there's nothing to click. This brings us to our first step, which is saving the file into a dedicated folder. I create a folder called Smoke and save the blend file into it. Now the blend file is saved into its dedicated folder and I can go ahead and bake the simulation. I want to keep the simulation quick so I will use 10 total frames and 10 frames for the simulation. And now I can bake it. Once the bake is done, you will find a new folder. This is the group of data Blender needs to render the simulation. We want to make sure the blend and the simulation cache folder are always together. The next step is to make all paths relative. Making paths relative allows Blender to find the external data even when they are out of your local system. You can access that from File, External Data, Make All Paths Relative, and save again. Now we are ready to zip this folder and upload it on Concierge. With the zip folder ready, I open Concierge and drag and drop the zip folder into File Manager. This is my folder and inside I see the blend file and the simulation cache folder. I go ahead and launch my render. And then on Job Manager I can follow the progress. So here is my set of rendered frames on Concierge and I can see that they all have the simulation applied and rendered correctly. I hope this tutorial will help you prepare your smoke simulation scenes for concierge with confidence and we'll see you in the next video.